This short video provides an overview of stakeholder engagement for creating actionable science. Actionable science is research that is done with a specific, known, end user in mind. Actionable science allows science to be more quickly moved into the decision-making realm. It strives to connect the dots between usable science and science that is actually used. It is important not only to finding solutions to complex climate-related adaptation issues, but also to seeing those solutions implemented. One key step in creating actionable science is identifying and engaging with the science end user during the production of the science. This is a type of stakeholder engagement. A stakeholder is an individual, group, or organization that is impacted by the outcome of a project. They have a stake in how the project is formulated, enacted, and communicated. Key stakeholders for climate adaptation science centers are natural and cultural resource managers and decision makers, such as tribes and state agencies, as well as other scientists and more. Stakeholder engagement covers a continuum of possible interactions with stakeholders. If the box farthest to the left represents no engagement, moving to the right on the spectrum represents more interactive and regular engagement with stakeholders. Moving to the right also requires more time and planning for stakeholder engagement. Moving from right to left roughly represents the stage of the scientific process during which engagement is conducted. For example, communication of results takes the least time and is often done at the end of a project. Scientists may give a webinar or a fact sheet about their research findings. Stakeholder consultation may take place earlier or at multiple specific points in the scientific process. An example would be going to stakeholders early for guidance on key species on which to run a specific model, and then consulting with them again later to identify the most useful variables to summarize from the model outputs. Collaboration, which can also be called co-development, engages end users earlier in the process. An example would be meeting with the resource managers to determine the research needs and helping to define the specific research questions. Researchers may visit with end users regularly to refine methods during the production of science. End users would then help researchers determine how best to summarize or convey results. Co-production takes the most time and goes one step further. End users are not only viewed as recipients of the science, but as active, equal participants in guiding the scientific process and its outcomes, they are integral members of the science team from beginning to end. There is no single best level of stakeholder engagement. It depends on the science project and its objectives. However, actionable science is best served at a minimum by consultation. This does not mean that communication of results is not also critical, nor does it mean that co-production is always the most appropriate or best way to achieve actionable science. The best stakeholder engagement arises when scientists consider their objectives, their strategy, proactively identify their stakeholders, and then intentionally choose a level and method of engagement to meet their research and project goals.